Hello viewers, this is Aileen Sonia Das, working as assistant professor in RMD Engineering College. The topic that I am going to take is from the subject Air Pollution and Control Engineering. Unit 4 Control of Gaseous Contaminants. So, this unit gives about the factors that affect in selecting control equipment and the five principles that is five principles that helps in controlling the contaminants present in the gas. So before letting out uh, the contaminants as such into the atmosphere, the amount of contaminants present in the gas will be controlled by these principles, by any of these principles. So the major five working principles that the that are seen in this unit are absorption, adsorption, condensation, incineration, also called as combustion, and biofiltration. So, the difference between both absorption and adsorption is here in absorption, the gaseous pollutants come in contact with the liquid medium, and when it comes in contact, the contaminants present in the gas will be absorbed. Whereas in adsorption, when the gaseous pollutants comes in contact with the solid adsorbent, the contaminants present in the gas will adhere on the surface of the adsorbent, that is on the surface. Here in absorption, it, is, it enters the absorbing medium, but in absorption, it adheres on the surface of that so here in this video, we are going to see about the absorption principle and the equipments used with respect to that principle. So the uh, several considerations in absorption in design is selecting a suitable liquid solvent and uh, determination of the limits of absorption efficiency. So the contact period, the contact period between the contaminants, gaseous pollutants and the liquid solvent determines the absorption efficiency. So the equipments using the principle of absorption for removal of gaseous pollutants are patch tower, plate tower, bubble cap plate tower, spray tower, liquid jet scrubber absorbers. So first is Packed tower scrubber. So it consists of a long tower packed with suitable inert packing material such as polyethylene. So in this tower, it consists of a packing material which is made up of polyethylene. So gaseous pollutants enters through this inlet and passes through this packing material. So when it comes out, what happens? It comes in contact with the jet of liquid that is sprayed opposite to it. So what happens? The contaminants present in the gas comes in contact with the water and thereby the both the contaminants rea reacts with the water and what happens uh, at the bottom? Sludge is formed. So here there is an outlet, so when it is almost gets filled, the slurry is taken outside. So, after the fountain of water, we have a, a mist eliminator. The function of mist eliminator is to remove the remaining moisture. Suppose if there is any moisture present in that gas, it will remove. Therefore, then the clean gas is comes out through this top of the packed tower is usually more economic for corrosive gases and vapors in view of less quantities of corrosion resistant materials required for its construction. Next is plate tower scrubber. So plate tower scrubber diagram you can see so it consists of a long tower with uh, several circular plates with perforations. So the dark golden ones 
are the circular plates and you, have, you can see that there is a gap between these bold, golden lines. So that gap is the perforation, that is the pore. pore. So through these pores, when a gas is polluted, gas will be entering. So polluted gas enters through this inlet and it has to pass through each stage before final gas is let out. So here the liquid medium, so suitable liquid scrubbing medium is sent out through this inlet and what happens after it gets filled here it flows to the through the spiral it flows to the next level the liquid medium that is present here does not fall through these holes because of the velocity of the gas so due to the velocity of gas it is held there by the pressure by the pressure of this velocity of this gas. So the liquid does not fall through the pores of the plates as it is held by the pressure created by the velocity of the gas. So here polluted gas comes in contact with the liquid medium. So the liquid medium is present here. So when the liquid medium is descend from this and then here when it gets filled it goes through the pipe to the next level. So here and uh, the polluted gas which uh, enters through the perforations through the holes so the pr contaminants present in the gas will get absorbed in the liquid medium and the remaining clean gas will uh, be sent out to the atmosphere next one is spray tower scrubber so this spray tower scrub scrubber as the name suggests water will be sprayed so here the polluted gas enters here and uh, there will be a jet of liquid passed jet of liquid passed here so what happens the polluted gas comes in contact with this liquid medium and thereby a sludge is formed that is taken out from this inlet then the remaining air comes out as clean gas this method is best suited for highly soluble and offensive gases. The design of the scrubber can be so made so as to give a centrifugal force to both liquid spray and the gas to achieve maximum contact between the two for higher efficiency of removal. The next is liquid jet scrubber. So this scrubber is uh, very much suitable for the condensable gaseous pollutants. So here it consists of two vertical chambers. So in one chamber a liquid jet is sprayed which atomizes and produces small droplets of the absorbent. Gases are also present in the same chamber from the upper end. Non-condensable gas, clean gases are removed from the other chamber. So here in this diagram we can see that the polluted gas and the liquid spray both enter through the same way. That is in other principles we can see that both will be in opposite opposite direction. Here we can see that the polluted gas and the liquid spray both enters in the same direction. So the, when it forms a sludge, what happens? It will be collected, be collected through this waste effluent. The remaining clean gas will be sent out to the atmosphere. The last one is agitated tank scrubber. So as the name suggests, agitated means disturbed. So here, how it is disturbed? So here, polluted gas will be sent through this inlet, and here we have this agitator. And through this baffle, liquid uh, medium will be sent. So here, how the separated gas comes in contact with the baffle that is containing the liquid medium. So with the help of agitator, that is, here we have a motor, and the motor uh, will be giving a mechanical energy as output. So when it's uh, when it uh, stirs. When the mechanical energy is given, what happens? The agitator stirs very well. So, what happens? The polluted gas 
comes in contact with the liquid medium. Therefore, the contaminants get absorbed. Okay. Thank you for listening. So, in the next video, we will see about absorption.